Hey everybody, today um, our topic is all about how to ditch the dairy. I have three awesome recipes for you that are super simple. Believe me, they are delicious. I have tried them all. Um, and they're a healthier version, in my opinion, than you know your typical dairy creamer or even the non-dairy boxed creamers at the store. Um, I, I'm not a big fan. So these are going to be um, pretty simple, straightforward recipes, and you can play with them. They're versatile. I'll talk about some ways in which you can switch them up and make them your own. But without further ado, and of course, I've got my beautiful model here my iced coffee this morning and I have to tell you I usually drink my coffee hot even on like 90 de degree days if there's AC I want my hot coffee but for you today I'm doing my iced coffee so um, I should also say all of these recipes I have tried both hot and iced they're equally as good it just depends on how you like your coffee and I'll give you some tips um, on how to best do that so the number one alternative to a non-dairy creamer or half and half is going to be adding coconut cream. And when I say coconut cream, I'm talking about the canned full fat coconut cream that you place in the fridge overnight. Um, when you take it out of the refrigerator, you simply turn the can upside down, you open the can, and you'll have the liquid on the top. You pour the liquid off, save that, because they're terrific in smoothies and, and other recipes. Um, but in the bottom, then, you will have the thick, white coconut cream. Um, so that's the stuff that you want to use. That is also an awesome um, alternative to uh, whipped cream, and I've got a great recipe for that, so let me know if you're interested in that. Um, but anyway, uh, I digress. So you're going to use one part of that coconut cream, to one part of whatever non-dairy milk uh, of your choice. And that is actually what I made today. I Again, I've made them all. This one happens to be my favorite. I think it gives me the most realistic taste to like a true half and half. And again, I'll, I'll talk to you in just a moment about some add-ons and, and things we can do to that. Oh, I've got a little friend joining me. Do you wanna come in the video? Yeah. Um, okay, number two and this might scare some people off if you're not a tofu fan, but silken tofu. So this is like a double whammy because not only are you get, gonna get that creaminess and that texture of like a heavy cream, but you're also getting you know a, a boost of protein and um, you can't go wrong there. So uh, if you're worried about the flavor, don't worry. Like I said, I've tried this both hot and cold, but here's the thing with tofu. Hi, we're talking about coffee. Do you like coffee? You do? Uh -uh. No? You always want to taste mine. Okay. Um, the thing with tofu is you want to make sure you blend it. So um, my Vitamix is my best friend. I use it when I'm making both iced and hot coffee. Um, so blend it. I would highly recommend if you're doing tofu, blend it. Uh, the other ones you can shake for the most part. Um, <coughs> But if you've got a nice blender or even a ninja or a bullet, uh, go ahead and blend it. So again, I just use about the same amount of silken tofu as I would uh, like a heavy cream. You are just taking over this video again, aren't you? <laughs> and um, add that into the coffee, blend it up, pour it over some ice. If you wanted to, you can certainly add ice into your blender and blend it. But for me, that waters down my coffee and I don't like that. So I always just put my old coffee in the refrigerator overnight so it's already cold and good to go. And then I'll just pour it over ice. So the third option is going to be um, a vegan butter and or just pure coconut oil. I like to use refined because you don't get that taste um, that coconutty taste and your non-dairy milk of choice. So again, that's going to be using, sweetheart, please don't do that. Gotta love doing lives when your kids are home. Um, so I would use a uh, half, one part vegan butter or coconut oil, one part non-dairy milk of choice. And again, just throw that into the blender with some cold coffee, whip it up, throw it over ice, and you've got yourself a delicious iced coffee. Um, Okay, so let's talk about, this. so that's the base. Like these, all three of these um, will give you that sort of heavy cream or half and half 
flavor and feel in your coffee, but what if you like a sweeter coffee? Um, what if you like a flavored coffee? So let me just give you some simple, simple suggestions and tips. Um, one would be to add in, I like to use anywhere from a half date to a whole date in my coffees, uh, or if you just prefer another sweetener of choice, like a honey, agave, maple syrup, whatever it is, go ahead and add that in as your sweetener and do it to taste. So this is all gonna be sort of, you gotta play with it, see how you like it, um, and put it together. Another one would be, what do I have done? Oh, this one I love, um, and I played with a recipe for literally eight months. I'm going to put that exact recipe in the description because if you have never tried a non-dairy latte, I will put this up against any latte. It is delicious. Everyone that has tried it says they love it. It's a little intricate. Like I said, I developed this recipe over about a year, no lie, when I was trying to figure out how to get my coffee to taste like it used to when I would get those flat whites at Starbucks. So um, I will put that link in the description, but one of the key ingredients is raw cashews. And I don't soak them. I know some of you probably heard to soak cashews. I don't soak them, especially if I, uh, because I'm using my Vitamix. Disclaimer, before I get anyone telling me that they have like gritty stuff in their coffee, if you don't have a high power blender, you are either going to want to put it through a sieve, um, 